Hi everyone, in this video I'll be reviewing this GT Lite Sim Racing Cockpit from Next Level Racing. So this is a foldable cockpit from Next Level Racing. I've had this cockpit since about a month now and I thought it is time to give you a review on it, on what I like about it and what I don't like about it and some points of attention that I want to bring also to you so that you make your own decision on whether you would like this cockpit and you're going to purchase it or not. So now I'll be talking a little bit about the build quality. So the chassis is made of tubular steel. The tubular steel by itself, it doesn't bend. It bends when it is assembled a little bit. I'm going to show you this afterwards when I talk about the comfort and the adjustability of the seat. The seat cover itself, here it is made from Alcantara and the back is made of aerated mesh. So this prevents your back from sweating. These bolsters here are really very good. So they hold you in place. And the seat itself, it's made of also Alcantara. It's a little bit rigid for my taste, but nevertheless, it's good. Now let's talk about the wheel holder. You have the wheel holder here that is made of steel also. And for the pedal holder, it is also very rigid and it is made of steel. And what I like particularly about it is that it has rails where you can put the pedals on them and you can secure the pedals with the screws that are provided also with this cockpit. And also you have the shifter mount that is made of steel. It has many holes to accommodate many models of shifters. So you can put it either on the right or on the left here. Now the build quality is not 100%. For instance, you have the stitching here on the wheel. Look, it is not very well made. And also the plastic holders here are very hard to install the tubular steel in them. So you have to push hard and you have even to pound on the steel. So for the wheel, it is like this. And here also for the shifter, you have to pound very hard on the shifter, as you saw in the assembly video. So this is a negative point in the build quality, in my opinion. Another negative point, and this is very important in the build quality, is that the wheel holder here, it is a little bit tilted towards the left. So first I thought that I'm imagining things and then I measured from the top of the wheel holder to the floor and the left side it is at 69 centimeters whereas the right side is at 71 centimeters and when you sit in the cockpit you really can see this difference and you feel that the cockpit here and the wheel is a little bit tilted like this but this might be something that only affects my cockpit I contacted Next Level Racing about this problem and I'm yet to hear from them. So if they reply, I'm going to put their reply in the comments section below. So make sure to check the comments section regularly. So now let me show you how this cockpit adjusts. First, let me show you the back of the cockpit. Here on the back of the cockpit, you have two levels of adjustments. And these adjustments here are made by removing the screw and the bolt and you can just pull this up or push it down and you can adjust it like this. It's not very convenient because it's a screw and the bolt. So it takes a little bit of time. The second adjustment is done by this multi-purpose hub. So you have one on the left, this one, and you have one on the right on the opposite side. You should release the hubs, the both sides, and then you can adjust the wheel tilting and also you can adjust the shifter position and the front legs angle. But this hub is really very difficult to operate. And when you adjust something, you might also unadjust something else. But nevertheless, it does the job. But here, when you adjust the hub, careful not to pinch your fingers because they can be pinched very easily. And the third adjustment is here on the front of the seat. And this is the best adjustment in my opinion. So using a pin here, you can push the pin in and then adjust the seat and the pin holds it in place and this is very good and also to continue on the wheel you can adjust its tilting so here it has a lever you just undo the lever and then you can adjust it like this so it goes up and down to your taste and also the wheel plate can be pushed in or pushed back by removing the screws and putting them back and the other adjustment is on the pedals so you have two adjustments on the pedals the first adjustment on the pedals is that you undo these screws here and then you push the pedals up or down to your taste and the second one is that you can remove this one here it has two pins left and right you just push the pins in and it can be removed 
and you can put it like this. So the paddles will be flat on the floor. And also for the paddles, you can push them left or right, depending on how you like to press on the paddles. For me, I keep them at the center. So now let me sit in the cockpit and show you the overall rigidity of it. So I'm gonna open here the latch to remove the wheel like this. And then when you sit in, just put it back. When you sit in the cockpit and you lean back, the back seat goes down and it stays down like this. So it is rigid in this sense. To talk about the rigidity of the wheel. So the wheel is good, it moves a little bit, but this is not a big deal because when you're driving, you don't feel it like, and it doesn't bother you when it moves. So this is not a negative point in my opinion. Now let me talk a little bit about the pedals. So when you accelerate, it's good. And if you also use the clutch, it's good. But when you use the brake and you brake hard like this, so this is like, I'm, I'm just braking a little bit and this is braking too hard and see how the seat goes up. And this is a very bad point in my opinion. Now let me talk about the comfort of this seat. The back seat here is really very good. You have cushioning on the top, so to protect your head in case you want to lean your head to the top. It's not very thick, but nevertheless, it is good. And you have here on the back of the seat, the smash grill that keeps you cool. You have the side bolstering that really is good. The back seat itself here is really wide, so it can accommodate people that are a little bit larger than me. I am 6.2 and 200 pounds. And here for the seat, you tend sometimes to slide a little bit, but I mean, you can correct it just by repositioning yourself. And it is a little bit rigid in my opinion. So on the long run, so an hour or more of racing, you tend to have a sore behind. And if you adjust really the wheel to your position and how you like it and the pedals, you can make long runs. But more than one hour in it, I felt a little bit uncomfortable. So let me go now and show you how to fold it and unfold it. Now I'm gonna show you how to fold it. And I'm gonna tell you right away that it's not easy and it will not really save a lot of place when you fold it. First of all, remove all the connections. So remove the connections from the computer and remove the connections also from the power. Then you need to remove the strap that holds the chair down. So this strap here. And when you remove the strap, undo also the latches here. So remove them, push it back like this and then remove it here and remove it from the other side also and now fold the back like this and the next thing to do is to undo the hubs here so remove the hubs like this and undo them on both sides and here hold it with your hand and these should go inside like this if I can put them inside yeah I think I can so like this <laughs> And now it folds like this. And you see that it still takes a lot of place and it wasn't easy to fold. And believe me, I practiced it before and it's not easy, especially when you have the wheel still attached and the pedals still attached. So now to put it back, it's very easy. Just push it like this, put the latch here and then hold it with your hand like this and then bring it back outside and then push in the hubs here and you have to tighten everything so the hubs of course and this is how it unfolds by the way if you want to check out this gt light cockpit from next level racing i'm gonna leave an amazon affiliate link in the description below if you make a purchase using my link i will gain a small percentage at no cost to you and this will help my channel greatly now let me tell you what i like and what i don't like about this cockpit and whether I recommend it or no. What I like about it is that it is made of really good materials. Now we saw that the stitching is not good somewhere, but this is I think unique to my chair. Now what I like also about it is the fact that it is light and it has here a mesh pad and the bolsters. Now the pedal holder is good because it holds the pedals in place. And this brings me to what I don't like about this cockpit. So first, because I'm talking about the pedal holder, when you press the brake pedal hard 
all the cockpit like goes up like this and this is something that I really don't like at all and also what I don't like about it is the adjustments hub because they crammed three adjustments in one hub so you adjust the leg tilting you adjust the wheel tilting and also you adjust the shifter position and when you adjust one you might unadjust the other and you might also get a pinch on your finger so be very careful when you adjust these hubs so they are a little bit complicated even though next level racing say that they are revolutionary what i also don't like about it is the wheel tilting to the left a little bit but this is something that i already covered and i also don't like about it that they say it's foldable and you saw that when you fold it and even though I practiced before this video to fold it and it's really very hard to fold and it still takes a lot of space when you fold it. Now would I recommend this cockpit? For myself I'm gonna be returning it because I really am not comfortable with it. It has a tilting wheel, it moves when you brake and the seat here is a little bit very hard to my taste. So that was my review about this GT Lite cockpit from Next Level Racing. I hope that you liked my review and you found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this review a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and this will help my channel greatly. And this way, you'll not miss any future videos I make. I'm Eloy and I want to thank you all once again for watching. See you on the next video.